Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the front drum glide on your dryer. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a putty knife, and either a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, because we will be working near some electrical circuits, we will need to disconnect the power. So if your dryer has a cord on it, simply remove it from the socket. If it's a hardware dryer, we'll need to locate the fuses or breakers and disconnect the power at that point. Now next with a putty knife, we'll go in between the top panel and the front panel. About four inches in from either side, there's a spring clip. Just press the clip and then lift up on the top. Then we can hinge that top upwards. And if you're close enough to a wall, you could just lean it up against the wall. But if you need to disconnect it, simply remove the ground strap from the back and then lift it off of the rear hinge. We can set that aside. Next, we need to disconnect the two wire harnesses on the right-hand side. And there are two screws, one on either side, just below the console. And you can either use a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver to remove those two screws. We'll just grasp that whole front panel and console assembly and pull it forward at the top. That releases some spring clips along the sides. And we can tilt it forward. And next we'll just lift it off with two hooks on the bottom of the base frame. And we can set that aside. Now that we have the front panel removed, we have access to the drum glides. And they're just held in place with a series of tabs that lock into the front lip on the drum. So we simply need to take the needle nose pliers, squeeze those tabs together, and pop that glide right out from the inside. The drum glide is in two pieces, so you should probably replace both at the same time because they will wear equally. Discard the old one. When we go to put the new one on, you'll notice that there's some notches, and those will face towards the outside of the drum. We'll start one end, and just carefully snap them into place. Make sure those tabs are all the way through those rectangular holes and that they actually lock into position. And now we're ready to put the front panel back on. Now to reinstall the front panel, we'll line up the two slotted holes on the bottom of that panel with the two tabs that are located on the base frame. Make sure they're seated all the way down. And we'll make sure we tuck the wire harness inside. And then we'll need to lift up slightly on the drum so that it clears the front felt and glide. Snap that into place, then we'll replace the two screws. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. Now 
Now we're ready to put the main top back on. We slide it over the rear hinges. Reconnect the ground wire to the top. And lower it into position. And then just press down on either side until it engages those clips. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.